All right, okay. so today, uh, today we have Josh uh, Fernandez on. Welcome, Josh. Um, Hello, everyone. Yeah, uh, great to great to have you on the show. Um, thanks for just wanted me. to, yeah, just wanted to briefly introduce you. Uh, maybe just kind of give a quick intro and kind of how you got started into photography and specifically wedding photography. Okay, um, you know, um, wedding photography has been a constant companion since. Quite a ways back, uh, I started uh, 2002, believe it or not, was my first wedding. And um, yeah, it's it's a journey that um, I don't have any plans of finding the destination of. Um, yeah, week in and week out, it's, it's just weddings, portraits, and people. Awesome. So 20 years. This year. Quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's funny when you when you say twenty years. I it yeah. never feels twenty years. Yeah. So how was? Did you get started doing weddings, or did you start in other kind of types of photography and move to weddings? Um, when I started, it was um, first. I think what convinced me to do photography was uh, when I began taking photos of the kids. You know, just like any mm -hmm. parent would, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, things um, evolved. Um, I started getting asked for for photography. Um, I did yearbook photography for a bit, uh, but then I realized it's always been people. You know, I gravitated to towards um, photographing people, and what better way to photograph them than at a time and at a day that um, everybody's inherently happy to do what they're doing at that moment. Yeah. Absolutely. And I, I kind of feel the same way too. I, I love, you know, I've, I've done a lot of different types of photography and, and, and vid, vid, videography. Uh, and now, now as, as someone who does primarily wedding video, it's, mm -hmm. it's that it's, it's one of the most special days of your life. And just to be, be with someone there and document uh, that for someone is, is, is a lot of fun. So exactly. I mean, how how cool could it get? You know, you're invited to to be at a place that's you know that's uh, an intimate moment for a family, uh, a turning point. You know, the beginning of a new chapter, and you are tasked on being their storyteller. And um, we are privileged to to meet these incredible people. You know, tell their story, and uh, I think I think that is what drew me into into the field absolutely mm -hmm. so i guess uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about like your style and kind of how you approach uh, a wedding and kind of how you shoot it how you think about it and just a little bit about your photography style all right um well i love uh being simple and obtrusive and spontaneous i think you know simple because you know a lot of people um, underestimate the, the power of simplicity you know the the more layers you peel off something as you get to the core you know images um, you 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 feel you know what what these people are feeling and for you to photograph that you know in a spontaneous manner when when um, you're not so much drawing attention to yourselves people are people are allowed that um, that um, how would you say that 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 natural moment Freedom. of being photo natural, not yeah. have you know not feel not feeling that a photographer is following them around you know of course everybody looks anxious when 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 you know when they see a photographer walking up to them but um i, I even have this this technique james that um, i photograph people at a wedding right and as soon as they realize that they're being photographed I intentionally show that I'm turning and I'm taking photos of other people just because they saw me photographing them. Yeah. You know, and I feel that this um, affects the general temperature of the room. They think, hey, you know what? I'm not going to worry about this photographer because he's going to take my pictures anyway. I don't have to make myself look, uh, yeah. you know, prepared. Yeah, that's really good. And I think, I think that's so important, for, especially for the bride and groom too, that because you're around them so much that they are really comfortable with you know, you as the photographer or a videographer, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Because, yeah, just them, that, that, that one relationship and just interactions there is just, mm -hmm. you're, you're around them so much throughout the day. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. that's really That's good. very true. And there's um, a lot of work that comes before the photography. 
you know, do you have to develop the relationships? For sure. You know, with, with the advent of, of video calls, it's just so nice to, you know, uh, connect with the couples, even before they become your clients. You know, yeah. transparency, I think, is, is, is paramount in the industry or what, in what we do. You know, they, they, the, the couple should see exactly who you are and what you bring to the table. And this way, you, you'll find everything fitting so, so, so well when it really uh, comes down to, to the actual footage. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely agree. Okay. Uh, well, I guess just to wrap up, how about, how about um, just a final word of advice for maybe a bride or a groom who's looking, um, look, currently planning a wedding and kind of thinking about mm -hmm. photography, maybe looking to hire, maybe look to, to choose a photographer. Um, mm -hmm. Any advice that you give uh, for someone in that position? Um, well, my advice is, you know, just find someone that you connect with um, who's, you know, whose images you connect with so naturally, you know, of course, um, pricing is, is, uh, of course, a factor. And of course, the, the people you work with is a factor, but then the images, they should connect with you on their own before you even begin a conversation with, with the artist. And then, you know, once, once you've settled that, talk to your professional, you know, talk, talk to your vendor and see how things you know, fall into place. You know, and then you'll feel it. You know, it, it's 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 difficult to explain, but then once once you find your person, your vendor, everything will start you know falling into place. Yeah, absolutely. And like we mentioned, Zoom call Zoom call is a great is a great way yes. to do that. But even a phone yes, call, too. I found is 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 much better than just messaging too. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So absolutely, yes. it's so nice to to put a to to put a voice to put a face on the you know the texts that you get. Yeah. And, um, you know, at, at the end of the day, it's, it's a human experience. It's a whole wedding experience that your vendor should be able to provide. And I mean, I'm connecting with someone that aligns with your vision, with, with your character is, you know, is paramount, I think. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you, jo Josh Fernandez. All right, uh, James. Um, you can find his, uh, I'll, I'll include his website and, and bio in the, in the description. Um, thank you so much, Josh, for being on the show. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, James. Right, Have a nice day.